Good morning, Arvada. Today is Friday, March 9th. I'm Ryan Hunzecker. And I'm Tyler Tapro. And we're here with your Bulldog News. Congratulations, all freshmen and sophomores, on completing your first week at TCAP. Man, being able to sleep in until noon is amazing. <laughs> Speak for yourself, but I'm pretty confident in my test skills this year, and I know all freshmen and sophomores did an amazing job this year. And don't forget to add that we get out at noon and have zero classes. True. Well, our Key Club is having a fundraiser for the club and the Children's Miracle Network. Please turn in all gently used cell phones in Miss Dean's mailbox or bring them to her room B122. Arvada, we all know how many cell phones us teens go through. So I know that you guys have unused cell phones. Bring them in and put them towards a good cause. So, word around the halls is that Mr. Miller and Miss Kilbon are looking for up to 20 people to be extras in the musical Damn Yankees. So if you like to cheer, eat popcorn, and even sing a little bit, go and be an extra. Also, a congratulations to our Palms team for getting yet another title to add to our wall. They took first place in their division, and they took first place in the overall against 16 other teams. An announcement from Ms. Pell in the main office has a number of lost keys, so if you have lost your keys in the past few weeks, go and see if yours are there. In sports news, our boys and girls varsity track team has a meet at 2 at Mustang Relays. Also, at 4 p.m., girls varsity soccer has a game versus Fort Lupton. At 11 o'clock a.m., Boys Junior Varsity has a game at Fort Lupton with Varsity to follow also at Fort Lupton. Go and support our teams, Arvada. So tonight is the Harlem Ambassadors game versus the Arvada All-Stars. Asia got the chance to interview Mr. Fallon, who is playing tonight. Thanks, guys. I'm standing here with Coach Fallon, and he's going to tell us a little bit of information about their All-Stars games. Hi, Fallon. How are you today? Oh, I'm good. Well, that's really amazing. So, give us a little background information about this whole All-Stars thing. Like, what is it? Uh, well, the Chamber of Commerce of Arvada uh, has brought in the Harlem Ambassadors, which is kind of like a Harlem Globetrotter kind of team, a little bit of a knockoff, but it's going to be a lot of fun for family and friends. I think 7 to 12 year olds will really like it. It'll be that kind of humor. Uh, it might also be fun to make fun of some of those old folks running up and down the floor. I'd say the average age is going to be about 50 of our team. And uh, their team, they're all going to be like 20 and 30 something who all played small college basketball. But it's supposed to be a lot of fun um, and it's really just kind of a community get together. Well, that's really good. So, um, what are your what are your and your team's personal goals towards this game? Is it like fun? Or are you guys really out there to like give away? Well, I'd like to score without getting swatted. <laughs> um, I'm also planning on not getting hurt. That's key. And um, I guess just to be the puppets for these uh, Harlem ambassadors, so they can make fun of us and have the audience laugh. That's probably the real goal. Well, that's really interesting, and I wish uh, you and our All-Stars a lot of luck for this game. Okay, thanks. It'll be fun. See you there. Bye, guys. Thanks, Asia. That sounds like a lot of fun. Make sure you go check it out, Arvada. So, Monday is the Spring Choir concert. Hey, Ryan, aren't you in the concert? Yeah, you know, I'm in men's chorus, so make sure you come check, out, check it out, Arvada, and watch me perform awesomely. Sure, Ryan. Anyways... BDN's Fashionista Brista is out in the halls again to give us some more fashion advice. Thank you guys. We're out here on location once again to talk about some school fashions. Hats. We all love hats. But is school a good place to wear hats? Let's talk to Susie about hats. Good morning, Reds. When you walk through the building and you have your hat on, we would expect that they would either go into your locker or into your backpack. If they do not, and if they're visible and they're on your belt loop, or if they're, oh, sorry, my hand hurts, or if they're visible on your belt loop, or on your hat, head, or anywhere visible, we will take them. Please put them in your locker. Susie, so why is it, why has such a sore point for students, teachers, and security? It's a security issue. Anybody that is up to no good can wear a hat. The cameras have a bird's eye view, um, and they can stay concealed or hidden. So it's important that we have uh, clear visibility of anybody that's, ah, that's walking by. So wait, you're not trying to take our fashion rights away, you're just trying to protect us. Yep, now you understand. Thank you, Reds. You're awesome. Thank you for your cooperation. 
Thanks, Fashionista Barista. Make sure you stay safe with your hat, Arvada. That's all we have for today. I'm Ryan Hunzecker. And I'm Tyler Tapro. Have a great weekend, Arvada. It's a great day to be an Arvada Bulldog. <laughs> yeah, Arvada, don't bring your hats to school. Just leave them at home. No hats at all. Ha, ha, ha.